special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, and Madlo for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simnest and I, Darkest Fools Mod. So, this episode we are going to go and do the bookstore. As you guys know, I want to have my second class be farmer class, because I want to make a massive, massive farm before we need coil stuff. Um, especially with the way we've been leveling and on the insane difficulty, we're going to get demons really soon. So I need to make sure by then we have quail ammo, quail tech, all that stuff. Uh, do you want to make sure we quickly heal over here? Mum, 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 mum. I don't think these heal you, right? No, no health. That gives you 15. I really don't want to go and... Hmm, really use painkillers and stuff because that's going to drop my water. Although we do have water too. Yeah, let's just do that. We do have water on us, so it's not really that big a deal. So I've locked all eight slots of here. I want to quickly check. There is a mod that you can put on your chest piece that gives you more space. But I always, always, always end up forgetting what it's called. I want to see over here. It's not over here that it's... It's either going to be under security. Uh, tactical rigging. Yes. Okay, cool. So if we go for rigging, it's locked under what? Science crafting? Science crafting. Basically, the one we need is this. If we can find this one, guys, it gives you at least like a whole row extra. So the more storage we can have, the better. I don't want to be encumbered being chased by zombies all the time. Okay, yeah, we have this one as well. Do we have ammo? No, we don't. Shock and ammo? Yes, we do. Okay, I should probably just get a little bit of arrows or a few arrows over here because we're definitely going to need it. Um, <laughs> I haven't really been saving up on arrows. I've been mostly scrapping them. So I hope... We actually have some arrows of you. I don't think so. I mean, we can always just make ourselves some more because we have this. But I want to see. Okay, we have a proper wooden bow over here. What's better? 49. So this one's actually basically better at this stage. Okay, so we'll keep this one then and just these. I know it's not the best of arrows, but at least it's something. So we'll do this. Technically, we don't need both of these. Because this does give you water and stamina, and this only gives you water. Uh, but I want to make sure that I'm ready either way. So we're just going to do this quickly. I'm going to put this away for now. And then, how many skill points do we have? None. So I need to go for over here. Oh, it's over here. That's going to be play level 20. We should be level 20 already. Yeah, definitely level 20 already. So as long as we can just level up twice, we'll be able to then go and go into... I want to go science crafting both skills. Because if I can make myself that mod, guys, we need as much space as possible. Okay, I don't think we're crafting anything over here. Food's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, repair kits. These are going to repair uh, require repairs, but they shouldn't degrade because we have the tool skill at level 2 already. So we can repair all of these and the weapon skill. That's no problem. I don't think we'll have enough repair kits, though. So if I can quickly just make one or two of these, perhaps, that will actually help us quite a bit. And we're also going to need mechanical parts. What else? And forged iron, I think. Let me just see, what, what do we need for the repair kits again? Okay, duct tape. Duct tape, let's make 20 duct tape. Oh, just 20. Are all of these zombies underneath me? Is this a wandering horde? Oh, it's a wandering horde inside. Okay, we do have Molotov, so please all of you come to me. Crap. Okay, I need to run outside, actually, and get, uh, get all of them together. So I need all of these zombies to stand, more or less, at the same spot over here. Nice. Most of them on fire. What a time to actually have a wandering horde. Damn. At least most of them should die over there, and we can actually take care of the rest. This looks like a rather big wandering horde though, because there's even more ferals and stuff coming in. And unfortunately, we are out of Molotovs, as you guys might have noticed. That's a bit of a problem. Are they done coming through? Yes, so we can actually jump through over here. And do that. They shouldn't be able to get to us because they're all inside. I just need to make sure that they don't come from the right. Please don't call a screamer. It looks weird. It looks like a super infested board base or a, a trader base. 
we do actually get zombie traders. Uh, but I wonder if there's also for these Alpha 20 buildings or not. Guys, we need so many Molotov right now, it's insane. Please, no Screamer. The Screamer would be even worse than this. Ooh, they broke something. Okie dokie, they all way too fast for me. Way too fast for me. Reload. You can break that, thank you. I just want to quickly do a reload, and then... We need to do this. Oh crap. I missed, I missed, I missed. Oof. Oof, where did the dog come? Okay, um... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Damn. Where the hell did that dog come from just now? You can see there's a few ferals at the back, but they're also still running, so we need to be careful. I need to make sure we have our gun reloaded for when we come across really tough ones. Ooh, you were fast. Crap. Oh, crap. As soon as I missed, I was like, no, 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 no. See, I need to drive over them and then shoot them. Is this lady feral or something? No. Okay, so hopefully they dropped some stuff over here. Guys, we need Molotovs. It's almost night time. Look at my HP. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, but the problem is it's almost night time. Um, we need to go for that bookstore, so it's going to get even more hectic. Crap, missed. Oh, crap. Crap, don't miss, Sean. Every time I miss like that, it's one step closer to death. Thank you. Ooh, okay. Damn, there's still some zombies inside it as well, it seems. Okay, now I have to heal myself again. And they open up this massive hole over here, damn. When I heard zombies coming, I was like, ah, I can't be. And then, boom, too many zombies. Please don't tell me there's zombies in here. But I think that sound is just coming from outside, hopefully. Okay, you're on that side. That's okay. Are you outside? Yeah. Okay, we do need to be careful of all the zombies and stuff spawning inside. It could easily be a wolf or an animal or something that spawned inside of here, so we need to keep an eye open for that. Guys, do you know how much ammo I just spent on just this small little horde of here? We had close to 100 rounds, we now only have like 55. That's why we need more Molotovs. If I had more Molotovs, all those zombies would have been dead by now. Okay, um, now we have to heal again. I don't think we have a skill that allows us to, like, heal from being full. Uh, let's just make sure we are full. Honey does not give health, right? No. Damn. Um, painkillers do. Let's just try and see if... Oh, did I just see coins over here? No. Um, let's just see if we can sell some of this stuff. And also whether the scout perhaps doesn't have something for us. He might actually come through for us and have some stuff for us. Okay, and also, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just do this so they don't lose quality. I could have used crappier quality than this, but I want to go and sell these. So I want to make sure that I don't lose any durability. Wait, what just happened? Did I just combine one that shouldn't have been combined? Uh, I want to do this. I'm gonna do this and this okay so now we should be able to sell all, th all three of those hopefully we can get a bandage or something from the trade over here guys because we are really bad right now what's your story make sure there's nothing in here with us okay yeah it's a shame that we didn't have more molotovs that would have really come in handy right about now you reset day 16 it's That's now day oh man today. 
That is way too far away for me. Okay, rocket launch. Oh, Molotovs. Oh man, I could kiss you right now. Boom. Okay, so we'll sell all of these. Technically, you need to sell them when they're fully repaired, guys, but we can't afford to repair these because they're going to lose durability. We should be able to sell to the scouts as well, so we'll try. Uh, what else do you have? Hmm, resources. We could really use some of the resources right now. Oh yeah, I was about to make myself some repair kits before I left. Do you have any foods that actually heal you? No. Damn. I was really hoping it had some proper, proper food for us as well. Okay, and then I'm just going to buy a ton of shotgun rounds. No, we can't afford that much. We'll at least buy 80. At least. Well, we, want, we need to make sure we have some stuff on us. Steroids bandages, we're going to keep these. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. These something I can sell what to you, you as well. For? No, you can't sell to her, damn it. Okay, so that was unfortunate, but yeah. Um, at least with these bandages over here, You're I want to keep these. Or just like a normal healing like we need to do now. If you just need to uh, heal that little bit and you don't want to waste your red bandages, just buy these. Use these. Guys, I'm going to go for that bookstore, but it's going to be super dangerous at night. At least now we do have a few more Molotovs, so they should come in handy. I just hope we can actually get through this place in one piece. Sell, 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 sell. I don't know why I didn't just use the grandpa's awesome source. I would have been able to get that whole stack, I think, of ammo and stuff. Pores. I have no idea whether we'll be able to um, get the whole bookstore or not, but I'm going to try. Remember, guys, this is Darkness Falls. When Darkness Falls, that's when the stuff come out, comes out. That's why it's called Darkness Falls. So during daytime, what we just experienced, that was nothing. That was the easy part. Yeah, I think I'm just going to move this over to this. I want to be able to use the spikes as well. Remember, we have Feral Sense on. That also makes this way harder. Because Feral Sense allows the zombies to see you from a little further away. Oh, wow. This thing was almost completely destroyed. Okay, so we need to go for the bookstore. And it's one of those open ones as well, which is a problem. As soon as possible, I'm going to have to see if I can't have... Can I make the rat bike already? Have we found the recipe for... It looks like it. No, it's locked. Damn. So you do need Grease Monkey, and it's under the mechanic class, unfortunately. I thought we might be able to get the schematic, and then just go to Razor's compound and make the rat bike there. Because if we could do that, then we don't need to get the class yet. It seems that's not going to work that way. Okay, there's a ton of zombies out here. Just need to make sure our stamina and everything's fine. Because even if all these zombies follow us, if they all converge underneath us uh, during nighttime, we can just throw one Molotov. That's actually what I'm uh, betting on, for all of them just to converge. So I want to try and do this as well. Fire the shot. We're quickly going to run in here, run out. Hopefully we don't get caught. Please don't get stuck, please don't get stuck, please don't get stuck. I have no idea what just heard me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All of you guys come here. I think most of you guys can see what I'm trying to do right now. Why are you there by the car? Come on. Okay, I could lure them all into one spot. Because unfortunately, it seems like these guys are too dumb to follow me. Come on, before night time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a few ferals. And I haven't reloaded yet, damn it. Reload, 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 just in case there's another feral. Come on, guys, come on, guys, come on, guys. Don't be dumb, don't be dumb. I'm right here. It's going to be 10 by the time all of these come for me. Oh, they're pushing the car around. Damn. You guys as well, please. I need you guys to come with me.
I'm gonna have to throw more than one. Damn it. Just because they don't want to converge properly. Do that. Come on, all of you guys stand in a row for me. Please, 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 please don't hit me. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. What I could try and do... Let's get them all like this. Nice. That actually worked. Cool. Okay, so... There might be a screamer, so I need to stop using my gun in town. But to stop using the gun right now would be kind of dumb. Come on. Are you telling me you guys didn't lose any health just now? No, 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 no. Ooh, stamina. My stamina just ran out at the worst time. Okay, let me just drink a coffee quickly. Hopefully most of the zombies in the area just came from all this noise. There aren't too many still on their way because that's gonna suck. I need to now loot this place, but I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do so. We don't have any looter goggles, do we? No, it doesn't look like it. There's a ton of corpses over here now. When I come out, if it's not too dangerous out here, I actually want to quickly go and skin these corpses as well. Did I just get a crowbar? Yes, we just got a crowbar. Okay, so let me just see if all the zombies came out. Okay, uh, not, perhaps not yet. The back? No, okay, not at the back. That's a shame. If we can just make sure to take out these one, two, three zombies over here. Come on, am I doing enough damage shit, I wonder? No. Okay. There's usually a zombie at the back over there. Feral infected doctor. Nice. See, I need to try and kill the zombies and then loot. I could just loot and then kill them, but there's a chance of them getting me. Yeah, what I think I'm gonna do is let's just quickly loot some of these. And then while we're reading them, we can just stand on top of something safe. But some of them will be smart enough to get inside of here. Let's just make sure we reload the gun as well. I'm actually counting on them making a hole in the wall instead of coming through the front door because that way we'll have time to respond. Okay, scrap, read. Scrap, read, scrap. I just want to do this just in case you might later on. Oh crap, there's right over there. If he manages to destroy this thing, or just one of these, he'll be able to jump up with me. Oh crap. If he breaks that, he's gonna jump up here with me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh, what a zombie to have spawn here with you. Damn, it's a shame we can't get the zombies from on top to come down for us as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Ooh, there's uh, some of these at the side as well. Guys, you always have to make sure to look at the side of the shelves too. It's not always, but sometimes you're on the sides where you can see those racks. There are some more books over there. Trying to be as safe as possible. Running back through this place now. 
I wanted to loot this place only after. But if we can actually manage to do this now, why not? Just make sure our stamina doesn't run out and zombies don't surprise us from behind. Remember, they can crawl through a one by one, so you need to be so damn careful. Okay, let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Seems there's a massive hole over there, which I need to account for as well. At, at least it seems the zombies have to hit the shelves quite a few times to really be able to break through and get in, which is for us a really good thing. Just jump here. Oh, that's a lot of cash. Okay, I just want to do that, so they have to break two blocks to be able to get to us. Because remember, I'm taking a very big chance looting at night time, because one, we are on insane difficulty. But also, the fact that we have Feral Sense on is really, really bad right now. Feral Sense means they sense us from so much further away. So if you're not careful, um, yeah, they can actually do quite a bit of damage. Come on, come on, come on. I want to be able to see your head. But yeah, basically, zombies on the other side of this building can sense us during nighttime, even. Or just during daytime because of Feral Sense. And get in here with you, uh, without even you realizing what's happening. So you have to keep an eye open, make sure that you don't get surprised. There's still a ton of zombies on this place's roof and in the bathrooms at the back and, and, and. So I need to be careful. The zombies made that other hole just now. I think the zombies on that side already woke up. But as soon as I get in the middle, there's zombies on top that's going to wake up. And then also the bathrooms at the back. I think I've looted all of the books over here, right? I don't think there's any zombies left. Please, 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 please. The nice thing is we can jump quite high. So if something attacks us while we're back here, all we have to do is jump up. Okay, and then we just get to a safe space. See, because we can go up here, we don't have to worry too much. We just jump up here and we're safe. Yeah, and this book is what? Reloading weekly. How many of these books are there again? Reloading. Reloading. See, I've already read that book. Let me just read it again. Okay, so that's one done. See, some books... Ah, guys, it's mostly the... What do you call it, those books? The cloth, not the perk books. Like mining, all that stuff that you have to read from here. In fact, if you try and read it like over here, it says it can't. It makes a sound. So you have to read it from your belt. But some other books, you read it here, it works. And other times you read it here, it doesn't work. So just to make sure it actually takes, let's just do this. You don't have to read it from here, but it seems, yeah, let's just make sure we actually can. Now, did you remember that one as well? The bow sometimes is bugged. So, for example, if I go to... Hey, what's the what bow? Let me just say bow. Bow crafting. Yeah, that's maxed out now. So, if I see another schematic, look. It's going to say that you can read it again, but you can't. Because that one I know for a fact is bugged. So, we have to remember stuff like, uh, like that as well. To make sure we don't waste. Oh, nice. One nine, uh, 90. So, if I can just loot this whole place, we should get enough. Yeah, um, if we loot this whole place, we should get enough notes to be able to get at least the one class done. We just still need to make that book then. Man, this feral sense is hectic. All those footsteps outside, guys, they've sensed me. That's what makes this series a little bit different than my previous one. Um, the fact that this is feral sense all the time. Sure, we don't have ward knights, but the fact that this feral sense is so OP... Uh, that still makes this uh, that, this uh, massive challenge. Just because we don't face a horde knight every seventh day doesn't make this easy all of a sudden. I just fell down. Hello. I need to get those headshots in, especially when I do power attacks. At least you do not heal. No, you don't. I need to be careful because they are ferals and stuff. Well, especially the radiated ones. They heal actually quite fast. I think it was a little bit tweaked as well, because there used to be a time 
where uh, the radiators are re uh, reloading or reloading, <laughs> uh, healing themselves wasn't OP anymore. Like, uh, at least they're not demons. You can kill them easy. But now early game, you can see it was definitely tweaked because they heal uh, very, very fast. If you only have melee and you have very sh uh, low stamina, then you have a bit of a problem. But I actually enjoyed being like that. There's early game that gives you a challenge as well. You don't have to just be worry worried about the demons. Okay, so nice. Now it says that it has been read. Cool. Do this, do this, do this. Okay, so we'll keep this one as our main one. We'll just do this. This way there can't be any mistake of what we have read and have not read. So I, I want to try and see if I can't get into the habit of reading everything from my belt. Like I said, it's not always necessary, but let's just get into the habit of doing it so we don't have to worry later. Okay, we just looted that. We just looted... No, we have not looted this one. Let's just do this. I need to make sure we're at least two blocks off the ground so that when zombies come for us, we have time to at least just assess the situation and run. Even when you're cutting trees at nighttime, guys, even if you have like fully decked out clothes and stuff, if you're playing Darkest Falls, always make sure you're ready for anything. Okay, scrap, scrap. This one, I think this is the last one. Reloading. Yeah, we've read all of them. So even if the reloading says we haven't read it yet, now we can scrap it. Okay, now we just have to do that side. And the problem is now we're, op now we're by the opening over here. So any zombie from outside can now get it in easy. And I can't really stand on this bookshelf over here because this one that's sideways is open. Oh crap. Please don't destroy my books. Okay, there you go. I wanted to make sure we at least loot that before they destroy it. Looted, 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 not looted, jump. Ooh. I was too close to comfort just now. I'm shooting way too much as well. If a screamer, especially at nighttime, sees me or hears me, I have a major problem. Okay, there's nothing that side. That's empty, that's empty. Okay, I think we got all the books this side. I know there's still a few on that side over there. Just the zombies on the roof already has me worried. No, they're also sometimes very, very, very tough. I swear, if I can get enough notes now for two classes, that'd be awesome. Then I'll go for... Uh, on the one hand, I want to go for... I'm going to show you guys this quickly. Next one we have to go for is farming, right? I said I want to make, um, I want to make my farm as soon as possible. Then I either want to go for mechanics so we can make a rat bike, or I want to go for scavenger. Because of yeah, you can get like your looter even higher, and you can get double rewards from doing trader quest. So for example, if you do a quest for the scout, and there's Molotovs at stake, you can take Molotovs and ammo. I wonder if I can lure the zombies from on top down, make them fall through, and then perhaps while they're down here, kill them. Instead of going upstairs. Oh, I see the zombie over there. Okay, let me just see the steel. Steel, steel, steel. Steel armor crafting. So if I read this... Yeah, okay, we can read it one more time. Uh, let me quickly go kill the zombie. Come on, come on, come on. People more come. There you go. But like I said, guys, we can still loot this. And there's still zombies on the back. Okay, these are closed. Oh, hello. Where are you? 
I think he's outside, so that's kind of cool right there. Oh, there's right here. It's all over the place. See, I could just cheat and shoot, uh, hit him right through there, but that would be cheating. Come on, dude. I have no idea how many skill notes I have, so I have to actually go check that. I think let's do the roof first, and then we jump down to the yard. Let me just also do this quickly. Jump up, go through, come on. I'm gonna try doing this as soft as possible. Because I don't want him getting through here. Please don't call those zombies. Okay. Bathrooms. I'm not even gonna check the bathroom because there's nothing in there that I want. I just want the stuff on the roof. So we're gonna go through this way. And then I quickly need to actually wrench this thing. It's gonna give us some steel, so later on when we need steel and stuff, we can just get from here. Unfortunately, this is not a working one, because then we can just go and... If this was a working one, we can actually let the zombies hit it. And that shocks them and allows us, uh, just when they stun, to quickly kill them. See, while he's healing, I can't hit him. I do about 20 damage, he's lost 55 just now. And by the time I hit him, yeah, it has to be a power attack. By the time I hit him again, he's already fully healed. Yeah, that zombie's on the other side, doesn't seem like they're coming closer. Guys, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna call episode, yeah. Uh, next episode, we're gonna keep looting this thing, and then we're gonna keep looting more stuff. We need to do as many scout quests as possible, because I want Molotovs. We only have two left, and every time a zombie comes in here, we need to be able to go and just um, corral them all together and just burn them all together because that saves us so much time and effort and resources. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comment and up the feedback. What do you guys think about that wandering orb right off the bat? And then, yeah, our hectic time in here so far. Leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkest Falls and Sanity. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.